Hello everyone, Robinson DUP, and it is New Year's Eve of 2014. So I guess it's time for a little bit of reflection. Um, you're probably gonna see this video after the fact. But while everybody is setting up their New Year's resolutions, some of who will succeed, many of who will fail, um, for the new you in the next year, and I don't mean that in a bad way. Um, I hope you're setting yourself up, and I, I truly mean this. I hope, I ho hopefully, uh, I hope that, I should say, you set yourself up for success with some attainable goals. And that doesn't, for me, it means, it doesn't mean not shooting for the stars and going for um, your, your utmost perfect self or whatever you consider that to be. But what I mean is to set attainable goals that you can measure and quantify and that no matter what life throws at you, you're going to continue to go for it anyway. Um, whether family and friends understand, whether society does or doesn't understand or accepts it or doesn't accept it, um, whether it's in fitness, whether it's in, I don't care, uh, being becoming a police officer as much as they've been getting criticized lately, uh, becoming a teacher, um, pursuing a career path that you really want, maybe opening up your own business, um, to continue to strive for what you believe in and what you want to do with your life. And I, and I, and I just truly hope all of you do that. Um, I want to thank each and every person who has subscribed to my channel, who has followed, followed my Robinson DUP fan page, who's following me on Instagram and any of my social media. Um, when I first started this channel and I keep going over this, I really didn't know what the direction was going to be. Um, I didn't know how I wanted to present myself. Um, I was debating to, co you know, copying or, you know, repeating a lot of the same old crap that I've seen on other fitness channels. And I just kind of said, you know what, I I'm not going to get into the t-shirt sale thing. Um, I'm not going to get into the supplement affiliations. Uh, it just wasn't something I was interested in at this point in time. I just buried my head into the world of natural bodybuilding. Uh, I got involved with the American Natural Bodybuilding Federation as the bodybuilding rep, the ANBF. As you know, Mark Lobliner is the vice president, Ken Beerley is the president, uh, John Garifano, my coach, is the secretary, and helping to grow that organization and continue to unify and um, increase the overall experience of a natural bodybuilding show to keep competitors coming back, to keep, you know, entertain the audiences, uh, and just to grow uh, something that I'm passionate about and to show kids and people everywhere what really is obtainable naturally yes there are cheaters but not everybody's a cheater um, and we do the best that we can to drug test everybody and make sure everybody's playing by the rules and obviously there's always people who are gonna skirt around it for whatever reason I don't know why there's not enough money in it to cheat but that's the way it is but we do our best to keep the cheaters out and just in increase that experience um, you know I just decided that I was gonna share my journey with you um, by whatever means I felt necessary. I'm not like this overly entertaining, over-the-top, uh, caffeinated, um, supplement junkie. Uh, I don't make, you know, a lot of funny videos. It's, I mean, I'm a funny guy, or at least I think I can crack a lot of jokes. People find me entertaining. But it's not my style in terms of how I present information. Uh, I just kind of take this whole process very seriously. And, um... You know, I just appreciate the support. I appreciate everybody who followed me through my journey back to the pro stage. Um, you know, as I was showing you my entire prep, which was over 40 weeks for two shows. Um, I'm grateful and thankful that I, I had a great coach or have a great coach um, who got me into the utmost condition I've ever been uh, on stage. I mean, I'm still new at all of this. I do not claim to be an expert. You won't hear those words come out of my mouth. It's not, I have no ego about this. I'm just showing you my journey. Uh, I'm not the best. I don't have the best aesthetics. I don't have the best gen genetics. I'm not the strongest. Uh, I'm none of that. I'm just showing you how, when I want to change something, how I go about changing it. And I think that's the most important thing. Um, the one compliment I got is I don't make excuses. You know, I've had injuries, I've had setbacks, I travel a lot, I have a lot going on in my life, both work and personally, you know, personally related, um, that I could have quit. Um, I could have accepted society saying, you're crazy, give it up. And I didn't. And 
thankfully because of that it's presented me with some other opportunities. Now, they're not great financial opportunities, at least not as, as of yet. Um, but nonetheless, it's opened other doors where I'm writing articles uh, about natural bodybuilding and some of the things that I'm seeing going on. Um, spread some truth about fitness and stuff for some of these fitness websites. Uh, I know there's a lot of people that have come over and watched me from the Generation Iron fan page um, for some of the articles I've written, and I greatly appreciate the guys from that page reaching out to me a while back and saying we'd love to have you contribute to our um, our site. You know, it's, it's a great opportunity, and I do the best I can to pump out quality articles um, when I feel that I have the creative juices to write it, and it's fluid, and it makes sense. Um, I make sure to keep my facts straight, I try not to romanticize anything, overhype anything, uh, and just give you constant dose of reality. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I can't thank you enough for just watching me, really. I mean, for me now, I think I'm over 1,400 subs. Um, that's a lot. I mean, I've grown a lot in the past year, and I'm thankful for every channel that's shouted me out. I'm thankful to the larger channels who are casually watching me in the background and even occasionally commenting on my channel. Because it means I'm on the radar, it means that I at least have their attention um, as to what I'm talking about. And I promise you, no matter what, uh, I'm going to continue to provide the same information. Uh, I'm not going to sell you any supplements and tell you how you should take this in your stack because it's the only way to make gains. Because I truly believe that nutritional and um, training consistency are the only way to make gains in the gym. Supplements are what they are. They are meant to supplement. There is no pre-workout that's going to put 15 pounds of lean muscle on you. Um, it's just not. It, it's going to be time under the bar, um, and it's going to really be that that, like I said, the training consistency and nutrition. So, um, you know, I, I've gotten to talk to a lot of different people from different walks of life and different age groups, all because of the YouTube fitness community, and it's great because. As large as the fitness community seems in the grand scheme of the population, it's still very small. Um, so, I mean, I've gotten to see some very inspirational stories where it, it sits with the reason why I don't believe I get have the right to have any excuses. I mean, my coach has a background of, you know, accidents and herniated discs and things, and he gets in the gym and he trains. He makes no excuses. Um, you know, he works. He just got engaged. He's, he's you know, going to be getting married, and he still trains. He doesn't. There's no if, ends, or buts about it. Um, I've met Dan Mackler through uh, Nick Wright, who put up a whole video of his history and the things that he's gone through and the ups and the downs, and how you know training kind of helped him. And then I've seen Obese to Beast. Um, I don't think I'm on his radar, but nonetheless, I watched the story about him being obese and how he's dropped the weight. Um, I enjoy the positive message, you know, they're sending out to people and even how he's comfortable, even with the loose skin that he has. That's amazing. Um, Brian from Brian Turner from Humorous Fitness. Um, I like, you know, he's just, he seems like a down to earth, honest guy who just busts his ass, both for his clothing line and he just seems very, very genuine. Um, and he's funny, you know, I, I get a lot of amusing, uh, amusement out of him. Um, you know, just all these guys that I get to run into, um, I always try to like recite things off the top of my head of people that I talk to, but then I forget, you know, I, I love Travis S, AKA the, the Ricotta, Ricotta, Ricotta <laughs> YouTube channel. Everything he has has like Ricotta in it. I don't even think he should have a thumbnail with Travis S. I think the intro should be like, uh, a tub of ricotta for <laughs> that should be your new intro, Travis. Ric a tub of ricotta. <laughs> I think that'd be pretty funny. Um, MW Fitness. Um, you know, if I'm ever down in Florida, would love to hang out with you, man. Uh, he was the guy that has done some of the Ever Forward stuff for Max Tuning. Uh, I actually, you know, Max Tuning kind of. I didn't care for him at first, but he's. I kind of like the messages he's starting to send. There's a lot of positivity. I think he's grown up a lot in the past year. Um, I mean, he's still young, but then they, then again, they're immature 30-year-olds, but uh, I like the message he's been sending out. Um, you know, I'm just seeing a lot of positive changes, and I hope it continues to stay that way. Uh, I don't care whether you're a bodybuilder, powerlifter, physique, athlete. Um, I think there's benefits to all lifestyles, and there's a lot of great information out there. I just hope that we can continue to inform you properly and uh, get rid of some of this bullshit that's out there. 
But with all that being said, and me now rambling for about 10 minutes, um, I wish you all a happy new year, a good start to 2015. Uh, I hope you're going to keep watching me, enjoying my journey. I hope to get more subs and just not for the money because I think I've made $54 off of YouTube in like two years. Um, but I just, I want to continue to share my journey with you um, and the people around me. All right, guys. Talk to you soon.